Where are you from? Where are you really from? Where are you from? Where is he from? Where is he from? Where are you really from? Where I come from, my mom looks like Miles. Sesame Street Miles. Miles, just a baby then, wearing corduroy overalls and white socks cupping feet no larger than my mom's sandalwood palms. Miles, black like history. Black like the dawn in Kemet creating shadows over the jagged wings of hawks. Miles, black like his mom's kinky afro. Black like family, like warmth. Miles, that son of Gordon and off-screen Loretta in Phoenix, Arizona, with no other brown faces to turn to, I had compared my Burmese mother to a black baby. My sister believed Burma to be a made-up place. How could my mother tell us that we had descended from royalty? How could she tell us of political prisons and jungles? How could she tell us of British, Japanese, and Thai invasions? How could she tell us of my grandfather's newspaper, of the sound of soldiers shouting? How could she even begin to describe what mangoes falling from the sky taste like? Where are you from? Where I come from, kids called me the color of ketchup. And while New England winters didn't flow with my tropical island blood, my penchant for turning three shades darker every summer earned me warnings from my aunt and mother to be careful, fairer is better. Where I come from, I had to explain women's garb that looked like a bed sheet, red dots on foreheads, and why my friends could only be female. Spent my youth living up to stereotypes like good, sheltered Asian girl, while dreaming of being a bad, free American girl. Where I come from, my parents set up shop and home, a life to call their own, set off from Sri Lanka, came here and created community. My aunties, my uncles, my sisters, my brothers, our island family and oasis and our sea of American faces. Where are you from? Where I come from, I never knew much outside of baggy breakdance flares and street fights. Corner and street light philosophies of just trying to survive. Where my culture resided in the memories of parents who couldn't survive the translation of defining Asian America. Or even Asians in America. Cause you see, where I come from, being somebody was built off the habitual ceremonies of underage drinking while dancing in densely packed rooms in a cloud of secondhand smoke. Where slanted eyes brought beef, mall rat packing and five finger discount adrenaline rushes. Cause you see, in the absence of my history, I created my past out of blanket tents and gang signs. So where are you from? Where am I from? Your question makes me flinch. Makes me narrow my eyes at your narrow ways of defining me. Suspecting me of being foreign. Cause this phenotype doesn't match yours. And my answer's not what you're expecting. Am I from China? India? Burma? Philippines? I'm from right here. Raised in the suburbs of Maryland. Feasting on crabs, rice, and Mickey D's. Riding on training wheels and the promise of a better life. This is where I'm from, neighbor. Down the block, across the state, past the river. Inhaled American air in my first breath. I speak English in my dreams out loud. The dialogue lies in the depth of my parents' arms, outstretched to their history and the one we share in this country. So tell me, where are you from? Where, Where are, are you really from? from?